सुप गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज लाइक अ सीक्वल टू माई प्रीवियस वीडियो गाइज इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी सॉ हाउ टू पुल मार्कर्स फ्रॉम अ फाइव स्टोर कलेक्शन एंड देन प्लॉट दैम ऑन अ गूगल मैप एज वेल एज हाउ टू नेविगेट टू दोज जूम इन टू दोज मार्कर्स एंड ऑल दैट लेट मी जस्ट शो यू डेमो फर्स्ट ऑफ वॉट वी हैव सो फार ओके सो दिस इज स्क्रीन दैट वी हैव सो फार राइट वी हैव अ लिस्ट ऑफ बिजनेस एट द बॉटम and when you just try tapping on one of these business maybe i'll tap on starbucks it automatically zooms in say uh, it zooms into starbucks as well as it just rotates the view a little bit and tilts the map a little bit as well right and if i just tap on this marker it shows starbucks now uh, uh, what we'll do now is that uh, uh, we'll also see how to reset the view we'll also see how to reset the view back to the original uh, overall view as well as how to uh, rotate the map from this point of view okay uh, you, i might have confused you now but if you uh, as and when i code this you'll understand uh, these cool effects that we are trying to accomplish so what i'll do this is the code we have so far right uh, i'll leave a link to the uh, code repo for this entire uh, application that is the past two videos in the description section below kindly refer to that once it will be available on github okay so uh, first i'll have a small floating button and upon tapping that button the view should uh, reset automatically so in order to do that first i'll uh, go ahead and have a toggle for the reset bool um, reset toggle toggle equals false okay so if i set this reset toggle to true i should uh, have a small floating button uh, on the map that will reset the zoomed in view back to the original view so after this position widget i'll have a how does this end this is where it ends after this position widget i'll have a, another one reset toggle uh, and uh, if this is true i'll have another position widget positioned uh and say this i'll simply do a top media query dot of context dot size dot with no sorry height height uh now i would like to have it not height maybe a little bit down okay little bit down so how do i do that so in order to do that i should give the height margin in such a way that uh I mean, I should give the top margin in such a way that it's a little bit. Uh, wait, I have a better idea. I'll subtract this. I'll subtract a value. Uh, media query dot of context dot size dot height minus seventy five. Cool. Now it will be a little bit uh, below the top margin. After this, I'll add a right margin as well. Right. some 15.0 okay and uh, child will be a floating action button and inside this i'll do on pressed reset camera uh, mini true and uh, mini is nothing but a small button okay it will give us a small button background color color stop red and uh, child would be some icon i'll give some icon 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 start refresh okay some random icon now i'll write a function for resetting the camera so in order to do that i'll do it here reset camera uh i just need to so i just need to take the user back to the uh, original view the original view is nothing but this view right so i just need to take the user back to this view for that i'll do I'll just copy this entire zoom in code, paste it here, and then instead of this camera position, I'll give this camera position. Cool. Now I have a function that will reset the view of my uh, camera. Let's test this function once by running it on the mobile device. Oh, all right. Uh, looks like we got an error. What's the error? Oh, I didn't finish off the. Uh, reset toggle thing right sorry so if this is not the case i should 
simply maybe i'll just uh, place a container with no height or width on that i make these silly mistakes guys also this uh, button will get shown only if reset toggle is turned to true right so after this Cool. Now let's run the app on the mobile device. Wow, you can see that uh, a map has loaded fine. Now what I'll do is I'll just tap on McDonald's. I'll try tapping on McDonald's and see how this uh, performs. Wow, I get a nice looking button on top of the map here to the right side, right? The, it is too much to the bottom decrease this fine now we have a nice looking button there upon tapping this it should take me back to the original view let's see if that happens wow it took me back to the it moved the camera back to the original view right i'm tapping on walmart and it took me to uh, walmart right this is walmart if i tap on the button it's taking me back to the original view right so we now have a, a nice looking reset button. Similarly, we will create a couple more buttons for rotating the camera as well. You will understand that wait. Uh, those buttons also will get triggered when the uh, marker is zoomed in. Okay. So I have two more buttons and uh, one of these buttons will be green and the other one will be blue okay and uh, instead of reset camera one will say uh, remove bearing and the other one would say add bearing one icon of one would be rotate we don't have it oh yeah rotate uh, left the other one would be rotate uh, right fine now we have a couple more buttons and both these buttons will call uh, two other functions when tapped one is the add bearing function for that we will go ahead and write the code this is just to rotate the map from that particular point of view so add bearing it's already zoomed in at this point. So what we need to do here is once we, uh, the person taps on this particular card, that's when the zoom will trigger, right? So in that case, I'll just have a function called current client. And uh, uh, whenever the person taps on that particular card, I'll simply set the car, sorry, current uh, client to client you will understand why i'm doing this since we need to we need the location here as well right so inside add bearing i'll just do map controller dot animate uh, camera camera update as usual dot new uh, camera position uh, for camera position i just need to give camera position uh, here you can simply make use of current uh, uh, client right client current client of location dot latitude this is location dot latitude comma uh, what am i doing target this is not simply lat long coordinates fine uh, then similarly we need the longitude and uh, what else we need to rotate that particular uh, rotate the camera at that particular uh, location we just simply need to keep increase the uh, increasing the bearing whenever the user taps on that particular button right that's it so what i'll do is after this 
and add a comma later after this uh, i'll simply bearing we don't have a value that specifies the current bearing right but we need that current bearing value since we need to know at what bearing this is at present so what i'll do is i'll have a value called uh, current bearing where current bearing uh, equals current bearing and this value i'll update whenever the uh, user taps in on the uh, card once again that will be an optimal way to do that right so whenever the user tap where is it not this one whenever the user taps in i'll do wait shouldn't i be enclosing these two within a set state now you understand why i did this right since we need to always have a uh, updated value of the current bearing so that we can rotate it based on that previous bearing right so uh, this will be current bearing if it's equal to 360 Uh, sorry 360 degree uh, in this case we need not rotate that's the end point of that particular circle right so in that case what we can do is simply have this current bearing value itself current bearing uh, if not if this is not the case then current bearing plus sorry current bearing plus 90 degree okay 90 and uh, zoom will be as usual 17.0 and uh, tilt will be 45 i am not changing anything in that uh, this is done so camera position after this i need to wait after moving this sorry then i need to update the bearing right fine uh, now the current bearing variable will always have a updated value of the present view of the particular user right so similarly i have to do one for uh, remove bearing as well i'll just copy this entire code remove bearing that will be minor changes and uh, paste it again now the only difference would be remove bearing and here i need, just need to check whether it's 0.0 if it's 0.0 i just need to give it the current bearing otherwise i need to subtract my 90 degrees here as well i'll just check if it's 0.0 if not i just need to subtract 90 degrees right so now this is for remove bearing let's save this now technically we should get three buttons as soon as the uh, reset happens that three should disappear right you understand why i did this here right uh, since as soon as the uh, uh, normal view is reset i should make those buttons disappear from view right uh, 
now this mostly will run with the hot reload itself i guess so i'll just tap on one the button is present if i just reload okay this doesn't work i should probably oh i didn't save this okay all those three buttons are overlapping on one uh, on another so what i'll do is i'll change this to uh, 60 maybe 60 and the other thing i'll change to um, fine now we have three buttons but technically we shouldn't have these three buttons since reset toggle should get uh, right we have three buttons and once i reset those three buttons are vanishing as well right so our code works perfectly let's check whether the uh, rotation effect happens so in order to do that i'll tap on mcdonald's this is mcdonald's obviously if i tap on the green button it should rotate wow you can see that nice rotation effect right it looks like i placed mcdonald's in the middle of water maybe i'll move to some other this is starbucks this level is a bit i think i gave the zoom too much here whereas the ori this is 17 right what's the original zoom in marker oh it's just 14 if i just place this as 17 then it should fine hit reloaded now watch cool right the zoom is uh, happening now if i rotate You can have an entire 360 degree view of that place exactly right if i move to some other see you saw that effect right here i can rotate the entire 360 degree as well cool right similarly i can do uh, wherever i want it will simply uh, appear to fly over to that particular markers this is the uh, walmart marker obviously and i can rotate from here as well and if i just tap on the reset it's automatically bringing me back to the original uh, level and uh, all those three uh, buttons with which i was playing around in the map options also disappear right so now we have a wonderful uh, map design that you can use for your uh, flutter applications with uh, some options that enable us to play with the uh, map as well so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today uh, i hope you like these effects there are obviously a lot of other cool effects that you can apply on a map as well on the map as well which i i personally have tried a few more effects and they were really awesome uh, if you like these kind of videos kindly hit the thumbs up button if you like to watch these kind of videos kindly drop a note in the comment and i'll make a video on showing a few more effects that you can do with Google Maps as of now uh, in your Flutter applications. And uh, not only this, uh, uh, subscribe to my channel to watch more cool stuff on Flutter, Google Maps, Firebase, Firestore and all that. Uh, and kindly hit on the bell notifications icon after you have subscribed so that you don't uh, miss out on any of my uploads. Hit the subscribe button, it's free, right? Uh, so yeah, guys, if you found this helpful, kindly share it with someone and help them too. And uh, yeah, that's it, I guess. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.